I grew up in London and I ended up photographing a lot of bands for Melody Maker and The Face. Punk was happening all around. I arrived in New York 1983 in the winter and got off the train. The train was covered in graffiti, kids walking around with boom boxes. You know, kids break dancing on the street. And it was very exciting to me. I got a lot of commissions from these British magazines. There was this new genre of music happening and they wanted photographs. I photographed some of the biggest names in hip hop. I felt like I was in the middle of documenting history. Come to New York, there's so many different diverse people here. We live pretty close together, demonstrating and being together, you know, with one voice is not such a different thing. I felt compelled because of the injustices that were going on to go out with my camera. And people need to start respecting each other. You know, I think we need change. I'm really happy that people are demonstrating and speaking their mind now. I have to say the camera gives you an incredible entree into people's lives. You know, the music industry, it's, it's such a male-dominated, you know, industry. You know, people used to tell me that I'd have to cut my nails, you know, the DJ, and I'd be like, no, I don't have to do that. What nails are you doing? I was making a money one. Jay is awesome, and hip-hop has traditionally been a kind of man's world in a way, so I have a lot of respect for her. Today we're going to start off doing some kind of pretty lighting that I think, you know, is going to emphasize her power and attitude. It reminded me a little bit of when I shot Salt and Pepper, like a woman realizing and understanding her power and being able to express it. I've never done a shoot like this because obviously with COVID, everyone's masked up doing it on Zoom. Sounds like a lot, but it's working. And Jeanette is so easy to work with. I didn't know what I was happening with you. You are like such a natural. Oh, thank you. you. can't believe it. All my shoots are collaborations, and I always want people to be who they are and capture them as they are at that moment. If you have to choose like 10 of the most iconic hip hop pictures, she's had to have shot at least five of them. To know that it is a woman behind those images is incredible. I couldn't be, you know, any more honored to, you know, have her shoot my pictures.